Lawyer Nick Freeman, also known as Mr Loophole, I must say, has been campaigning for e-scooter riders and cyclists to have some form of visible ID. His online petition has now reached over 10,000 signatures and he joins me now. Good afternoon to you, Nick. Thank you for chatting with us. Good afternoon, Sadie. So why do you feel so strongly about the wearing of ID for these scooter riders? Well, I want to make the law um, relevant uh, and at the moment it's redundant and it's redundant, it exists, but you can't apply it because at any one time what you have is an e-scooter or or cyclist possibly cycling or or scooting in a dangerous way. Uh, that, That shows the facts in terms of danger, but who is it? When you see a car driving dangerously going through a red light, you have a registration plate and you have a means of bringing the perpetrator of that offence to account. With a cyclist or an e-scooter, you have no means because you don't know at any one time who who is on that machine. And we have a situation now, last year sadly, uh, the number of cyclist fatalities went up 41%. Um, So, um, And we've now got a plethora of um, e-scooters on our roads. Um, of course, they're illegal except for the rental ones. But but the the dangerous driving on these e-scooters, the amount of crime they're being used for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We, we need to do something. Otherwise, um, it, it's going to be carnage, and, and that carnage is unfolding before our eyes. We don't want the government to have a knee-jerk reaction. They need to clearly think about what needs to happen. So with e-scooters, the law actually that is in place is the same law as, as for cars. And I'm just dealing now with e-scooters as opposed to cyclists. Mm-hmm. But it's completely irrelevant because you just don't know who is on them. So you have a machine that's capable, it's unlawful, it's capable of 68 miles an hour. Um, that They're used for crime, they're used for this, they're used for that. And you, you have no means of bringing the, the rider of that, that machine to account. Um, but, and that's why Nick, we, um, we need a registered system like we have for drivers. We need to share the law in the same way this, that we share Isn't this space. taking a, a sledgehammer to, to crack a nut? I mean, most people seem to use them. They've been using them for years as well up in London. I mean, I've seen them up there for donkey's years, private ones. They've now started trialling them because they realise that this is what people want. We are we are a democracy. We are freedom. And I know 41% of, of cyclists, terrible accidents, but surely that's caused by drivers, especially some drivers, not looking left when they decide, I'm going to go left and not realising there's cyclists there. I mean, surely you're going to tell all the people who are driving and riding cycles and and bikes carefully, you're going to frighten them off of the roads and into their cars. Well, that's certainly not my intention. I'm completely in favour of people cycling and using e-scooters. It's obviously environmentally friendly, uh, it's efficient, there are health benefits from the cycling, so I, I'm completely in favour of it. What I want to do is to try and make... That, that, what's the point in having law if you can't apply that law? So the law already exists for e-scooters, but it's irrelevant, it's redundant. So I would say to you, what is the point of having that law? Do we need to make it relevant or not? Or do we need to say, look, the law is there, but actually we're never going to use it because we never know who's on the machine. That, to me, doesn't make sense. But the law is also that, you know, yes, cars have to have um, a licence plate, but they're they're often filthy. The cars travel so fast you can't see the licence plate and it's it's gone before a flash. What do you want the cyclists and the e... Well, let's let's talk about e-scooters. That's what we're talking about today. how, How do they... How do they do this? What do you want? What, what do you see? Well, what would work? I, I would like... I, I, I think look, the, the design of an e-scooter is inherently dangerous. The wheels are too small, so the design needs to be changed. But in order to answer your question, that the rear of the e-scooter is too small to accommodate mm. a registration plate. So I would like riders to have a high-vis jacket with a registered tabard on so that they are, one, highly visible, which would help help their safety, but also if they were to go through red lights or if they were to go on the pavements or if they were involved in the commission of a crime, a member of the public can see them and there is a process in the same way as there, as there is with cars but, to trace the driver. You, you Nick, imagine I, I understand w- what on, you're on, saying, on. but is a criminal really going to put a high-vis on with his name on the back? Well, well, if he doesn't, <laughs> then no, no, well, fair enough. If he doesn't, then there's a spotlight on that particular machine in the same way that there would be with a car without a registration plate on. You're drawing attention to yourself from the outset because you wouldn't be complying with the law. Yeah, but if, you, if you I know, had, you know, I, I thought I'm going to nick someone's bag, I'm going to go up this, I'm going to nick their bag and I'm going to go off. I'd put Joe Bloggs on the back, another yeah. number, uh, or, yeah. or I'd nick one, I'd steal one from someone who... Yeah. I, I, I can't see how this 
can 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 actually work. All I can see is that innocent people who use them to instead of having to get on a bus or a train or in the car to get to work are, are going to actually say, well, that's I'm I'm too frightened to have a high vis with my name and a, a a number on the back because if somebody nicks it, I could be in done for all sorts of problems. No, I'm not suggesting you have your own name on. I'm suggesting a registration system in the same way that we have for cars. Mm. And look, the majority of people that use them are law-abiding citizens. Yeah. And, and, and if they make the road safer, if people are accountable, they will cycle or ride more responsibly, won't they? Do you, would you agree with that as a proposition? Yes. And therefore, that would make the road safer. And if it makes the road safer, why should we? It's a little bit like saying, look, motorists have to, um, you have to belt up when you get in the car. People didn't want to. They say, you can't force me to wear a seatbelt. It's an offence if you don't. Now, the vast majority put their belt on. The vast majority of cyclists and e-scooters would comply with the law once they get used to it. There's always a resistance because, yeah, we, you know, we, we'd like to be able to just be free to do what we want. But the reality is we're sharing very limited road space. And, you know, I, I just think that we need to share the law and everyone needs to play a part in that. And at the moment, if we do nothing, these statistics are going to get worse and worse and worse. Nick, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Lawyer Nick Freeman, uh, not just some as Mr Loophole, he's been campaigning for e-scooter riders and cyclists to have some form of visible ID. So you, you've heard, I, I put one side, Nick put the other. Your thoughts, 08... 08-